So paradigm is a way to get rid of money. And when you get rid of money, you get rid of uh, classes. There is no more uh, class war like Karl Marx was saying. It's communism, but when communism was created, it's supposed to have a class of rich people and a class of uh, slaves. But thanks to technology, and uh, we cannot, we don't need anymore a working class. We can replace progressively the working class by machine, robots, computer, nanotechnology, and and suddenly nobody has to work. Every human being should have the right when he's born to have food forever, uh, social service forever, uh, health care forever, and a house forever without working because the work can be done by robots and nanotechnology computers and all the new technologies coming out. So this is the end of the uh, class war, the end of uh, uh, the separation between rich and poor. If uh, before with communism suddenly everybody was poor, with the paradise everybody is rich. How do we do the transition from capitalism to paradigm by revolting, with a peaceful, non-violent revolt, just stopping, occupy Wall Street, occupy the street and say we don't want any more of this system at the same time. This world revolution is happening everywhere, thanks to the internet, which is great because it's for the first time connecting all the people of the world and the people of every continent at the same time say that's enough. We had enough, we work like slaves all our life to pay one house, then the bank can take the house if you stop paying. This is slavery. There is enough resources in the world to make everybody rich. Communism was making everybody poor, but thanks to technology, everybody is rich. Every, what is to be rich? It's not to have a lot of things, it's just to have a life when you know you have a house forever, you have food forever, and you have a, a health service forever. That is to be rich. In this case, why should some people have more money than others? When everybody has the same, everybody is rich. And there is enough on this planet to have a, a seven billion of people, all with the same wealth, a beautiful wealth, which is having a beautiful life, and let the computer and the, and the uh, nanotechnology do the job. Most important thing in, in paradise is that it brings to people uh, the most important thing in life, which is not owning anything, but being. When you have no, no need to work, to eat, then you develop spirituality, consciousness, happiness, love for each other. When you are slave, when you work for money and you want to have more money than the neighbor, more money than other countries, then you develop a mentality of happiness being connected with having. And that's not happiness, that's slavery forever and uh, create economic depression which brings physical depression, mental depression. But when happiness is being, not having, we, we don't need anything. And then the level of happiness in the society, not only the happiness of the poor people, but also the happiness of the rich people, it's automatic. When everybody has enough, not too much, but enough, to have a place to sleep, to have enough food every day, without working, the billionaire will be happier and the poor people will be happier. So, paradise create paradise on earth. And what is paradise? Happiness. If everybody share, everybody is happier. Those who haven't will be happier because suddenly they can eat, but also those who have. Because for sure not one billionaire right now in this world, on this planet, can be happy when he, he sees homeless people and when he knows that every minute one child is dying 
in Africa because no food. Not one billionaire can be happy. So paradise not only make poor people happier, but make also rich people happier.